of ink. Every producer of ink uses a different, uh, different chemicals to make the ink. So if you don't know which cyan you are using, the picture, of course, will, might look like a surprise. In particular, when you go to Japan to print, you will see that everything tends to look more cyan. If you are using a cyan from Japan or a cyan from uh, Europe, they will be very, very different. Water acidity. Here we are going into a very, very specific uh, area of uh, color management. Okay, so we are very far from the monitor calibration. It's measuring the water, measuring the acidity of the water used to mix the ink. Depending on the acidity, it can give you a different yellow. Room humidity. If you are in Singapore, which is very humid, you got to keep actually in, indoor is quite, a, <laughs> it's quite dry and cold. It depends on how the ink will be absorbed on the paper, whether it will spread or not. So that is also a parameter. Now, why am I listing all this parameter? Not to make confusion, I'm actually trying to make some point here to clarify that when you are the photographer and give the pictures to your printer and the picture don't look as you are expecting, do not say it's your fault to the printer. Same thing if you work in the print industry and you receive a picture from the photographer and the photographer is complaining, don't say it's your fault you didn't calibrate the monitor. That's why they call it workflow because you have many things involved there are responsibility of the photographer, responsibility of the designer, responsibility of the printer. Everyone should work as a team, yeah? not as a enemies. But unfortunately, many times you are working with your printer as the enemy that is destroying and ruining your pictures, or vice versa. Now, one thing that I want to show you, it's, uh, it's this one, it's very, very important and uh, I decided to carry on this message as much as I can because I strongly believe in it. When I came to Singapore, I was extremely specialized in print only. And then I started working on video and uh, web and other area of digital imaging that involves a lot of RGB. And I found that here in particular, the two worlds are apart. Those who are specialized in print and those who are specialized in video or display. Now, there is something that not many knows, which is called lab. Lab is in between RGB and CMYK. Lab is unlimited. In lab, you have all the possible colors that you can see and beyond, even colors that are only imaginary. I am so much into lab that I decided to call my training center. It's called lab. It's only about joining these two worlds, RGB and CMYK. So where lab comes in. Now, I open this picture here, but there is a lot of red. If I want to convert this picture from RGB to CMYK, the very first thing I would need to do would be to go to uh, image and mode, and into image and mode, you see that we have lab. Lab stands for luminosity. A and B is a X and Y sort of. Now, when you transform RGB picture in that lab, what you do, you are creating a channel for luminosity. In fact, if you think of it, RGB is red, green, and blue. What is black? That's why it's so troublesome to port RGB to CMY. Dear readers, the library will be closing in 30 minutes. If you wish to borrow library materials, we advise you to do so now at our self check machines. We thank you for your visit and hope to see you again soon. Thank you. So, from RGB, you have three channels addictive and you want to bring them to CMYK, subtractive. We need to, to, to generate a fourth channel. To generate the fourth channel, you're going to pass through lab. 
once you are in lab, you have a channel for luminosity. That will become the digital K of CMYK. When you convert it to CMYK, L become K. That's why it's so important. Now, just to, uh, to close and to show you a little bit more about the color profiles, I, I'm always doing this exercise that I like quite a lot because it, it explains clearly why you can't only rely on color profiles. I'm going to make two copies of this picture, I shall make a copy only. And I have left and right here, you see here, I'm going to put one beside the other by using this top menu. There you go, I'm going to tap a uh, tablet on my keyboard so it hides all the tabs. So we remain with left and right. I'm going to do something here. One picture, I will, apply, I will apply one color profile and the other one another color profile. And then I show you how they will look like if we print them without printing it. Now, on the left, I go to image, uh, sorry, edit, and then I will choose assign profile. So the one on the left, I will choose the first one here. Can everyone see what I'm applying? Okay? Really? Don't say. <laughs> Okay, this is the one that I'm applying. Now I go to the other one and I choose edit, assign profile, and I choose this other one. Can everybody see what I'm applying? Okay. Um, well, we, we are in that, uh, in that situation where the one on the left look very pretty. Very pretty. The thing is that if you put the one on the left online on a website, it will definitely look very pretty. But if you print it out, you might be very disappointed. Because as I say, that red is physically impossible to print. On the other hand, the one on the right, it might be a little bit washed out, but doesn't it look like it been already printed? When you print out the one on the right, you will have very much little disappointment. Now, if you are a freelance designer and from time to time you let your client come to your studio and sit beside you as you are working, have you done that before? Have you done that before? Your client sitting beside you? Yeah, telling you, no, 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 like this. Do this, try, can you try to, when they start saying, can you try to, you did all oh, oh, the that's the end. Yeah, because you will never stop. The problem with the client is that if you show the client the one on the left, ah, you have experience with that. If you show the client the one on the left, he will say, very pretty, print it out. How come so, so lousy? They will say, they think that you are lousy, that your printer is lousy, that your monitor is lousy, your Photoshop is lousy. Because you have overpromised. And with that one, you will always under deliver. With this one here, you promise less, but deliver what you promise. It's like when you go to queue at the chicken rice there, they tell you 20 minutes, three minutes later you are sick of for it. And they won't want to tell you two minutes and then you sit after one minute more, otherwise you will start complaining. So, promise less and maintain what you promise in that sense. Now, Photoshop is a very unique tool, which is called uh, View Gamut warning. Gamut warning means the colors that now became gray, yeah, you see here, yeah, like chicken pox, <laughs> all around, those things that became gray, it means they are not printable. They do not exist. Is it a lot? Acceptable? Technically speaking, it stays below 2%. So your client cannot ask for a refund if you print this one. In Italy, we have two per channel. Two cyan, two magenta, two yellow, two black. Makes 8%. Below 8%, they can't ask for a refund. Let's take a look at the other one. If we go to view and gun warning, what you see turning gray, it is not printable. You ready? Voila. Is it acceptable? So, at the end of the day, you hear a lot of things. When I started studying color management six years ago, 
10 years ago, thousand, no, 6 years ago, everyone was saying color profile, calibration, blah, blah, blah. a lot of things say, but few things try. Few things try. Even recently, when I traveled to Cambodia, there was a photo conference, I mentioned this one during the talk at the PPAS. There was a conference of professional photographers in Cambodia. And they were writing on one of these boards, what are the most important things that you have to do. And the very first point that they wrote on the board was to apply this color profile. Professional photographers. So that's why I really appreciate it when the PPAS invited me to talk at the annual meeting, because they are keen to learn, whereas others, they are just listening to what the stream says and what the voices say. My, my friend told me to use this one. My friend told me to use that one. Then you choose which one you want. Which example you want? The one on the, on the left or the one on the right? What are you aiming? What do you want? You want to have the perfect representation of that picture? Buy a good monitor. Buy a proper calibrator. Buy good paper and go to the most expensive printer in town.